Hello! Alright, <laughs> welcome again to EPR Mouth of uh, we review the weekend's matches and then uh, look forward to the matches ahead. Uh. Uh, before everything, I have an announcement to make. Uh. Uh, the Manic Street Preachers have officially <laughs> disowned me as their fan, okay? Because I'm here instead of at Fort Canning Park <laughs> where, the, where their concert is, okay? No, but you love football more. That's correct. So you so see, now mind, you have your priorities. Me, okay. Exactly. That's why. Okay, before we get to the games, uh, let's uh, introduce all the guests that are coming here. Okay, we yeah. have Faz from yeah. and uh, Man United Man fan. fan. Man, yeah. Man United fan. Good. Uh, oh, why good? Uh, <laughs> why good? <laughs> nice one. Nice one. <laughs> Fill up the place, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Fully utilize the space. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yes. Okay, we have uh, yes. Alex. Alex. From uh, Chelsea, Chelsea camp, Chelsea camp, Chelsea, 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 Chelsea. We have Jeffy from Arsenal. Arsenal from Arsenal. Great right. no yes. week for them. Uh, we have uh, Adrian from Spurs. Hello. Hello. Yes, two sitting together. Again. <laughs> <laughs> so have we two sitting together? Yeah. 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 And then, of course, everybody knows who we like. So yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Been the best done, team. Yeah, <coughs> best team in the world. Best. Best team in the world. Tapi County is the best one. Oh, <laughs> okay. So. S A F F C. How was your weekend? Huh? Uh, my weekend? weekend. Um, I don't know. Like it's like, I feel like wasted one and a half hours like watching a match. which like, just go past like, eh? What happened? Uh? <laughs> where, where are the goals? Huh? Man, I will come to that later. Yes, we will. <laughs> first and first up. First up. Of course, we got a lot of uh, matches, uh, the, uh, the usual batch of matches during the weekend. So, um, and uh, uh, of all the matches, there was one mass. There is one massive uh, upset uh, um, of massive proportions. Uh, but considering the <laughs> like uh, <laughs> uh, the, the the thing that happened Burn before Burn that Burn upset, uh, uh, perhaps <laughs> is not that much of an upset. Uh. Oh, so many upset. <laughs> okay. uh, Arsenal travel. Arsenal travel to Manchester City. Um, uh, just before they went to Manchester City, their like captain William Galas, uh, uh, nicely, nicely say, "Oh, I don't <laughs> like the young players in my team. Uh, they all complain too much. Uh, they are not brave enough." Uh. Uh, so what happened? You guys, you actually, you guys don't know this, but I talked to Vinga this morning. <laughs> 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 it, was actually, it was actually an underhand ploy oh. to make people, you know, oh. let be the underdog this year, you know, so that no one can actually see us coming from the back. So he oh actually foresaw that they were going to lose. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 He wanted to be the first team that can lose five games and yet <laughs> still win the championship. You know? ah. We've done the Invincibles <laughs> part. That's to the extreme. That's like he has so. Fixing, um, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, but, but, but seriously, I think I think Mr. William Carlos' uh, mess has to be settled in January. Uh, I have the feeling that he will play against Kiev tomorrow. Sad to say because we don't have any centre backs. Mm-hmm. Um, but at the end of the day, what he did was very wrong because I don't see Tony Adams. I can never see even Vieira doing. I cannot. Sorry, I can even see Henri doing that. Even though how Frenchy they are and stuff like that. <laughs> at the end of the day, you know, yeah. don't give me this cultural so difference. French. Uh, Didi Deschamps would never do that. Eric Cantona would never, never do that. So don't tell me this is a French thing. He would, just, day, kick, he would yeah. just kick the person yeah. in the mouth. By the, way, <laughs> all, by the way, if you all don't know the score, uh, if we want to discuss, uh, Arsenal actually lost. Uh. Uh, yeah, we can, yeah. Take, uh, we can Man, see Man the City, uh, Let's not. <laughs> probably <laughs> trash them uh, like 3-0. Uh. <gasps> and Look it at could that, have been man. more. It could have been, it more, could have been a lot so, more. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Stephen Island scored right at the stroke of half time. Robinho. Wow. wow. Hey, Great goal by Robinho. Today, like, wow. Yeah, Corners, goal go attack. Why the statistics didn't show that Arsenal only played with 10 men? Why? I don't only really count Alex Song as a player. Why oh, yeah. oh, yeah. you gun your I own think, players? I think, yeah, I think Danielson was at the centre of everything that went wrong with Arsenal. I mean, seriously, like, every time Danielson had the ball and he lost it, that was it. And uh, you saw that um, Man City scored. Uh, really, the the scoreline should have been much more flattering for Man, for for Man City. Robinho rounded your keeper, and good thing Gal Clichy was there to clear off the line. I agree that it could have been six or seven. I agree yeah. that, but you know, cut us some slack. There's been a lot of games that we have dominated completely and an- annihilated a lot of teams and only scored like one and, and ended up drawing one one. Okay, so, so like, you know, why that's, do you think we deserve here? some dues. Oh, you know, okay. At the end of no, all in years. this kind of situation, it's best to ask a Spurs fan. Spurs fan. <laughs> 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 yes. Yeah, so if you know, you know. 
does this kind of uh, dressing room unrest uh, remind you of the time when you are like right at the bottom <laughs> of the Oh god, <laughs> don't get me on <laughs> that. <laughs> I guess the dressing room unrest, they have to settle it internally. Yeah, uh, I mean, William Gars as a captain speaking out like that against young players who look up to him, I think that is utterly wrong. And the timing of it all, you know, as we are approaching the Christmas season, which is so-called a peak period, it's inappropriate. Unless he galas. But, but do you think galas. that galas is actually meant well in a sense that, you know, the, the past few matches, it's not like Arsenal are winning a lot of matches. In fact, they are, they are struggling before, even before this match. Mm. And, and, and he wants to, like, really, like... No, snap their faces. Pia, 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 pia. Wake up, wake up your ideas, you know. Yeah, I guess if, they did, if he did it internally, it's all right. But mm. you know, to take it out in the open and against the manager's wishes, I think that is not right. I think you know, um, for I mean, forgive me for saying, but I mean, he's a good player, but yeah. I don't think he's really fit to lead. If you look at <coughs> uh, the game against Birmingham last year, and when you guys drew with Spurs, um, he the, his he doesn't have the temperament of a leader. He's not fit to lead and. Uh, if you look at uh, well, I mean, I'll give you Man United examples. Oh, um, okay. Uh, okay. Uh-huh. Yep, <laughs> came out in the open, you know, and he criticized um, Ferguson. Oh, well, he said that he Ferguson was... tapped him up, and he was gone. Um, Roy Keane famously he ranted against his uh, younger teammates, and almost instantly, I think he never played for United again after that. But but is this a like a curious trend about uh, British football? You know, people people go out in the public to complain about their players. Immediately he gets. They get the boot. Is, is, because, is it because the British media are so tough on players? Uh? Oh, I don't know. The, I mean, the, the British media, I mean, infamously, they, they're very, they, they really like to uh, intrude with the, with, with the players. They like to get really close to them. But uh, I, I think at the end of the day, it's, it's a matter of the players themselves. I think they have to understand that there's a code. You know, whatever is going on within the team, um, you know, you should settle it within the team. And I think it, first and foremost, they should realise it's a team sport. It's exactly, yeah, exactly. Just to re- rebut a little bit on the first one, that William Gallas, <coughs> he's a good player, not fit being captain. Yes, but at the end of the summer, Wenger had two choices. If he stripped him off as captain, you know, Gallas' ego is like mm. bigger than all of us combined, you know, <laughs> and that's, yeah. that's huge. Um, he will probably lose him as a player. And Gallas, I like him as a player, but he, he was actually our best defender. As a pure out-and-out defender, one-on-one, with pace, everything included, he was our best pure defender. Uh, Colo Torre will be a close second, but Torre just needs to learn how to read the game a bit better. Uh, secondly, to what I'm going to say, with the British media at fault for this, he actually gave the interview to a French TV. So either Gallas is really dumb thinking that he's going to get back to England. Uh, <laughs> because you know, it was in French. Because so yeah. the internet has not been uh, you know, the best technology that ever happened to us. Uh, or he was really smart in trying to you know, hope that this will get their young kids' asses off of the couches and, and nice cars and actually get to work on the field. But the thing about it, at the end of the day, is that Wenger couldn't lose him. And that's why there's a chance that he may be back for the Kiev game. I wouldn't want it to happen because that will undermine a lot of players. Uh, Credibility. But it will happen. That because be Galas is our best honor. and the, he, he needs one more game before we play Chelsea if he doesn't play against Chelsea you're looking <coughs> at five and very sad to say and Chelsea must be you know <laughs> yeah. this to them yeah. right now okay speaking of the team that's rubbing their, their <laughs> head right now <laughs> you know uh, the latest news has come out that you know uh, now you look at Manchester City aren't doing well right? so what if they are the richest club they want, you want Robinho back of course yep. um, do you think that Robinho will be sweet to to your, to your club? To Chelsea. Mm. Um, to, I'm sorry, to Chelsea. First time I see your friends, I also say Chelsea. I'm sorry, I'm yeah. too used to it. <laughs> but, okay, to, truth be told, right now I think uh, with the financial powers of Man City, yeah. I would say that uh, Abramovich uh, would not be able to actually fight off with them because uh, in terms of the financial capacity, which apparently this Robinho, he's very money-minded. So I think uh, Man City will probably counter him and give him an even better offer than what Chelsea can offer. Considering the f- recent troubles and you know of Roman, which most of us would know would know about, yeah. So, because yeah, we so are all Russian. Yeah. I mean, thank you. Yeah. 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 But I really hope not. But I think with the lure of the big money which Man City might dangle in front of Terry, I think it might shift. Uh, but hopefully not back again. And for Robinho, I would say that um, we would definitely, 
it would be de- definitely be useful to have him as a player because as what we all know about him is that he can unlock the defences and you know he can actually create and also score mm. as we have seen in the past few weeks or so. Yeah, he so should he have played against Newcastle. Newcastle. <laughs> <laughs> would you like him for Chelsea <laughs> in January? I'm just wondering. For my, in my own opinion, yes. of course. He's w- a where will he fit in? Def- he's a d- definitely good, a, yeah. a very good fair player. But where will he fit in? I'm just wondering. He will fit in. He will fit in. in is he going to take over Joe Cole, Florian Maluda? Sell for Maluda. Okay, Maluda is still okay but Solomon Kalu is really, I think he's, I don't know, he's very fragile, isn't it? He just, he's just too sticky and he can't hold his ground. And although Robinho is small, but he's very uh, quick and nimble, so apparently he's like a, like a Brazilian version of Aaron Lennon, as we all know. Chili padi lah. Chili padi, that's good. Spicy. Yeah. <laughs> Not, back, back, to, back to the club in crisis. Um. William Galas apparently the latest news is that he's uh being included in the Dynamo Kiev's uh yeah. match against Dynamo Kiev. But he says he will not uh, apologize about his outburst. Mm. Now Jeffrey uh, do you do you think that it's Ego working or it's just... If I'm Wenger or <laughs> if I'm myself, if, or if I'm running it, which, which answer do you want? Uh, I think anything that you're wing, if okay, you're if, if it's If it's Asim Wenger, I think he will have to try to play him so that he gets his value higher uh-huh. in a January, just <laughs> to sell Because <laughs> if the other clubs know that, hey, we're not going to play him anyway, we're going to give us to, for like one million quid, <laughs> you know? But if he plays him a few games, he'll show that, hey, Carlos Kelly still might have a future here, bump it up a few million dollars. It's just economics, simple economics. Uh-huh. But if it was me... Galas will never play for Arsenal ever again. Oh. Banish the reserves. He'll be partnering Alex Song in the reserves. The oh, okay. the <laughs> I'm, I'm what do you have to say? <laughs> that guy is living oh, off his, his uncle, right? Rigobert Song? <laughs> 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 right, um, I just, I just, I'm just really, really curious. So, um, Galas says that the player is 25 years old. Mm-hmm. So you have... It's, Arby, it's, Robbie, it's Robbie and Percy. And Percy? Percy? Yeah, yeah. Percy. There are a lot of blogs in Arsenal. I, I go through them like news yeah. now. Yeah, and stuff yeah, like it's, it, it's Van Percy for sure. But Van Percy, to be honest, he's a quality player. Out of the four strikers, I'll only keep Eduardo. And maybe if Batner be a bit smarter, maybe Batner. Adebayo is not going to play for us. I know he's got 31 goals last year. I know a lot of people are looking at me. What the hell does this kid mean? Yeah. Adebayo is not good enough to play for us, no. You look at his first touch, he doesn't have a left foot. For his height, he's 6'4", he should get more hit at goals. I mean, at least Kanu has the little twinkling feet. Adebayo doesn't. Aye. So, at the end of the day, going back to Galas... Uh, he should not play for Arsenal ever again. But you're correct, we will suffer for the next month or so because they will bring back Philip Set. Oh, don't bring back Philip Set. Let's talk that Matthew Upson might be coming back uh, to Arsenal. I hope not because I think he's a bit overrated. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure what. I don't know who's the closest to West Ham. Campbell. So Campbell. I mean, we're going to history. I'd rather bring Ledley King over on a free transfer. Like oh, 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 Freebies and you know, Latley King make a lot more sense. Yeah, but I mean, touching on the Galas issue, I, I guess Wenger at the current moment doesn't really have a choice. I mean, who else yeah. does he have as a captain at the moment? Yeah. Fabregas, true, yeah. but I feel that he's a bit too young to shoulder the responsibility. But, but mm-hmm. so he turned to Almunia, who you know <laughs> just <Almunia>. recently <laughs> joined the first team. <laughs> so it was quite a joke to see him wearing the armband yeah, yeah. at all. Was a shock. <laughs> I think Wenger wants to win a championship with a team of nobodies, yeah. and then he can just, say, yeah. "Hey." Who is I this guy? That, yeah. I did it. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm the man, you know. I'm the, oh. Once again, big ego. So it's an it's a ego thing ego. more it, than anything. I think it's a good thing. Yeah, I think it's a good thing. But, but I, I think all of us will agree that Wenger is a good... Yes. He's a good per- you wouldn't want to cuss him like, you know... Like, you wouldn't want to hate him like Mourinho, right? Sorry. <laughs> I didn't actually... I, I actually didn't hate Mourinho at all. I thought he was very charismatic. I I, I yes, so yeah. too. I mean, I like him as a coach, but I wouldn't want him as my dad. You know, kind okay, of that, that might be true. But I did think he took a lot of pressure off the actual Obviously, team. Yes, okay. he's a you know? great. He's a, but I wouldn't want him in charge of Arsenal because I don't want to win like that. I'm sorry. I don't want to win like that. I'd rather have Sir Bobby Robson in my team get second every year. Or maybe second once. <laughs> uh. And then you'll have, a, have as a manager like Sir Bobby Robson who's, you know, he, he garners respect. And that's what I like. Or maybe you guys need too, Harry too long with uh, Harry yeah. Harry yeah. Harry yeah. Harry too long with Arsenal Wenger. Wenger yeah. So anyway, <laughs> keep your comments coming in uh, in the for, into the Razor TV website, uh, mm-hmm. and uh, we'll be back uh, shortly after this break. Okay. All right. See, ya. See you in a bit. <laughs>